Welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. Today we're diving into culinary fusion that will rock your world. Philly Cheesecake Empanadas. Imagine the iconic cheesecake flavors all snugly wrapped in a crispy golden empanada shell. We're talking juicy ground beef, melted provolone, and a symphony of onions and peppers, all coming together for a mouth-watering experience. Grab your apron and let's get cooking. We're going to start out with a large skillet over medium-high heat and I've got a pound of lean ground beef and we want to brown the ground beef. It takes five to six minutes to brown it. Okay, now that our hamburger is browned, I'm going to add a cup of diced onions. That's about one medium onion. A cup of diced peppers. That's about one large green pepper and eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, which looks like a lot of mushrooms, but they cook down next to nothing. And we're just gonna cook this together until everything starts to get tender. Now this mixture, when we're all done with this, is gonna be for the interior of our empanadas, but you could also use it like a sloppy joe and put it on a bun, it'd be just as good. Okay, you can see after just four minutes how much those mushrooms have cooked down. Everything, the mushrooms, the onions, and the peppers have started to soften. So now we're gonna add our liquid ingredients. I have a quarter cup of steak sauce. I'm using A1. And in a future video, if you're interested, I'm gonna show you how to make your own A1 at home. So keep an eye out for that. It's coming up in the next few weeks. And I have some beef stock. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of black pepper and some salt. This is just a taste. And when you're all done, you can check it again and adjust the seasonings if you need to. Now we're going to bring it up to a boil and cook it for about two minutes. In that two minutes, we want to cook out some of this liquid so that it's ready to put in our empanadas. Now we'll take our filling out and I'm going to place it in a bowl just to let it cool a little bit before we put it in the empanadas clean out this skillet and get it ready to fry the empanadas. And what I'm using for the dough for the empanadas is just the little four inch dough discs that you can buy in your Mexican market or in your deli section. You can also get them in the larger six inch size if you'd like. Now I'm gonna use this handy dandy little dumpling maker here to make our empanadas. It's just the right size. We're gonna wet the edge with water so that it seals it then we'll put in a slice of provolone and about a tablespoon of our filling mix and crimp it together. I've got about three quarters of a cup of oil in our skillet, and now I'm just gonna fry up our empanadas about five at a time. Don't wanna crowd our skillet until they're nice and golden brown. Once they're fried, I'll just put them on a paper towel lined plate so that they can drain and we're ready to eat. And there you have it, folks, a Philly classic with a twist that's sure to impress any table. If your kitchen smelled as amazing as ours, then we know you've nailed it. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to share the love by hitting that like button, subscribing for more delicious adventures, and ringing that bell to join our flavor quest. Also, drop a comment below with your cheesesteak empanada experience. As always, the recipe is just below the like button, as well as a link so that you can print it out. Until next week, keep savoring the good stuff, and have fun in the kitchen.